What's good YouTube, it's your boy Rel, back with another video. Today I'm going to give you my opinion on the cons of going to college as a graphic designer, so stay tuned to check it out. Peace. What up y'all? Thank you for coming back. If you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you for joining the family. Now, all of this is going to be in my opinion and in my experience, but the cons. Look, I don't give a fuck about none of them pros. <laughs> You ain't got a full ride scholarship. Look fam, you need to highly think about if that's the making the right move or not. Because student loans can change your entire course of your life. It changes everything. Trust me, I know. You could be paying on these student loans for the next 15 to 20 to 25 to 30 years, fam. And that's just interest. You ain't even got to the principal yet. After six months of school, like once you graduate or you drop out or whatever, six months from that, you gotta start making payments on your loans. Pay them shits off as fast as you can if you do go. Bruh, do not let them shits linger. They will ruin your credit. <laughs> they gonna take your future money. I can't eat! I'm broke! I'm broke! They gonna garnish your checks. <laughs> you don't wanna play that game. All right, another con in my experience, you feel boxed in. This one was as big as the student loans for me because a lot of my teachers would critique me and it helped me take a step back and not take everything so serious as far as my artwork, but they're critiquing me from their point of view. They're critiquing me from what they like. And to me, artwork is subjective. I might love a painting, you might hate a painting. Why do you get an F because I hate what you did? Or I love what you did, why you get an A? You know what I mean? It's subjective and it would piss me off because I'm like, I always felt like I was being boxed in. I felt like I was being caged. They were trying to push their style on me and I got my own style. I got a certain way of viewing life and it just comes from living life. And a lot of artists are like that. A lot of artists get caged in. Like they lose their creativity when they go to school. They lose their, their way of thinking, their way of viewing life, their view, way of viewing, of creating just by going to school and being boxed in with these teachers, these professors that don't see the beauty in what they're creating. And my thing is do not let that happen to you. You love what you create, brace that shit. Double down on your shit. Keep creating. Do not let these professors, don't let these experts change the way you view your artwork because they will if they can another con you're rarely working on projects that pertain to your passion and when you do work on projects you're doing it for free you're not getting paid i always tell y'all my first couple years of graphic design first couple my first seven i was doing it for free because college i was working on a lot of projects that they wanted me to work on things that didn't matter to me i'm talking about redesigning old school posters and shit i'm like why is it who is, I don't give a fuck about Van Gogh, bro. I am, I don't care. You know, let me create something that, that matters to me. Something that I think is dope. Something that inspires me. No, they didn't, they wasn't going. <laughs> I had to recreate some of the dumbest shit. I had to sketch like just the dumbest ideas. And to me, that's taking the fun out of it. That's taking the soul out of my artwork because I'm just creating what y'all want me to create. I'm not creating, I'm not being able to work on shit that I want to work on. Schools are so rigid on what they want you to create. If you're going to be doing this, you're going to be working at school, be sure to have a side hustle. And I don't mean, and I don't mean you need to be making money. No, I mean, you need to be working on your skills outside of school, working on projects that that save you. I'm not trying to over-exaggerate, I mean it. Like as artists, again, we use our soul to create. So work on things that that make your that feeds your soul to make you happy. You know, don't be out here just creating shit that they want you to create and then just leaving and just going home and, and dying on the inside. And hell no. Another con about college, taking classes that do not pertain to your passion or your major. Oh my God. Again, I'm taking math classes that ain't got, I don't care. I know how to count money. I got calculators. I don't need to know shit about shit. Pythag what is that? Pythagorean theory or whatever the f Boy, if you don't get I don't, why do I need that? I've never used it. I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> what the f do graphic designers and artists and shit like that, why do you need this? I know how to count. I know how to send people my cash app. I know how to send people my Wave apps invoice. I, I know my bank account knows how to count. <laughs> my bills know how to count. I know how to count. I don't need that other shit. You know, I don't need to read Shakespeare in an English class. I don't need it, bro. Why am I here? I hated that. I hated it. <laughs> I used to be so angry walking to a science class. I'm like, why the fuck am I going here? I need to be drawing. I need to be working on my artwork. Why do I have to spend the next four hours in a, in a science class, in a math class, in an English class, in a philosophy class. Why the fuck do I need any of this? Again, <laughs> that's a con for me. 
I got shit to do, bro. I'd rather be at the house working on my artwork, being free, painting, digital painting, working on my graphic design, building a website, whatever. I'd rather be doing that. So that's a con for me. Another con, learn different styles of design, but you're often learning from people who don't inspire you, people's work you don't like. I remember taking an art history class and just looking at this like, why am I here? <laughs> This, this does nothing for me. I want to see, you know, people who inspire me, like like Basquiat, let me look at him. They don't even recognize him in, the, in them classes. Like, why am I learning from people who don't inspire me, who don't even live the culture that I live? In some cases, you're learning about people who, they didn't even create it, they stole it. And then the art classes are boosting these people like they created it. These motherfuckers didn't create it. <laughs> they stole this shit. So that's definitely a con for me. A con is learning about art from people who didn't create this shit. People who don't inspire you. People who, they do nothing for you. Why am I here? Why am I learning from people who stole this shit? Why? It's a con. Another con. You have to play the game to be successful. You have to play the game. You have to kiss ass. You have to stroke egos. All of that. I don't, I don't do that. I just don't. I just can't. Like, I'm not fake. I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel. If I don't like you, I'm not gonna be around you. Anybody that knows me knows that exactly how I am. I'm a genuine human being, having a genuine experience. I don't want my experience to be that of someone who's kissing somebody's ass. I just don't. It's just not my thing. If you're gonna be successful in college and just most places, you gotta be able to play the game. For me, that's a con because I can't do it. I've never been able to lie, never been able to be fake. I just can't. And I've seen people where whose my work was better than in my opinion, in people's around me's opinion, right? Versus someone whose work was just garbage. Like, it is what it is. And they got the job because they played the game. Or they got the a higher grade than me because after class, they be in there stroking egos. You know, they be, you see them in the teacher, like random place, like in the lunchroom, hanging out, kicking it. This motherfucker got an A. what I get? I got a C plus. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not playing the game. I'm coming in to do my job and I'm leaving, bro. I'm out of here. The last con of all, you might be in the wrong place. You might be someone who's a big thinker in a small box. You might be doing yourself a disservice by going to places you don't fit in. You don't fit in here because you're not cookie cutter. You're not here to play the game. You're not here to stroke egos. You're not here to do any of this. You're here for a bigger reason. You're here to do something different, to create something, build empire. A lot of these people that be playing the games ain't building no fucking empires. They just trying to be a part of the empire. The people who don't fit in are the ones that are building the fucking empire, are building the structures, are creating new worlds and creating new experiences for people. It's harder for us because we're different for a reason. So if you, if this is you, again, I'm sending you my love, but also stand on your shit, man. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of what you create and don't let none of these cons deter you from the fact that you are a great artist you're a great creative and you're gonna change the world with your artwork soon whether you know it or not i believe in you i hope you believe in you too that's the end of the video if you got something from it please leave a like comment subscribe i appreciate y'all joining the journey joining the team y'all have a great day peace